The third hadith regarding making up missed days of Ramadan. An Aisha radiallahu anha qalat, Kana yakunu alayya sawmu min Ramadan, fama astati'u an aqdiyahu illa fi sha'ban, muttafakun alayh. Aisha radiallahu anha said, I used to owe fasts from Ramadan and I wasn't able to make them up until Sha'ban. Agreed upon. The hadith is evidence that whoever breaks fast in Ramadan with a valid excuse, he has to make up for that and that making them up is not obligatory immediately. Rather, making them up can be delayed. It is permissible for one who owes days from Ramadan to delay making them up until Sha'ban. This is due to the action of Aisha radiallahu anha. If the delay was not permissible, she would have not done so and been consistent in doing it because it is apparent that the Prophet sallallahu knew about that. Hastening to make them up is better than delaying them because the apparent action of Aisha radiallahu anha is that she preferred hastening since she apologized for delaying and making them up due to her not being able. If she was able, she would have not delayed it until Shaban. Hastening to make them up implies racing to be free of debt, and it is caution in the religion. A person might forget, especially if the days to make up were few. Hastening to make them up is included in the generality of evidences that point to racing and doing good deeds. The Most High said, وَسَارِعُوا إِلَى مَغْفِرَةٍ مِّن رَبِّكُمْ وَجَنَّاتٍ أَرْضُهَا السَّمَاوَاتُ وَالْأَرْضُ أُعِدَّتْ لِلْمُتَّقِينَ Which means, and hasten to forgiveness from your Lord, and a garden as wide as the heavens and the earth, prepared for the pious. And he, Jalla Jalaluhu, said, أُولَٰئِكَ يُسَرِّعُونَ فِي الْخَيْرَاتِ وَهُمْ لَهَا سَابِقُونَ Which means, it is those who hasten in good deeds, and they are foremost in them. Consecutiveness is not obligatory in making them up. Rather, it is permissible to make them up consecutively or individually according to the statement of the Most High. For men can minkum maridin o ala safar, fa'iddatum min ayamin ukhar. Which means, but if any of you is ill or on a journey, the same number should be made up from other days. Ibn Abbas, radiallahu anhum, said, La bas an yufarriqa. There is nothing wrong if he does so individually. Making them up consecutively is better for the one who is capable. Racing to reduce the obligations and removing oneself from the disagreement of the one who obligates consecutiveness, and because it is more energizing for the fasting person if he makes up what he owes consecutively, unlike if he made them up on individual days especially if the days to make up were many. The entire year is a suitable time for making up, due to the generality of the ayah, except the days of the two Eids and the days of Tashriq. For it is not correct to make up fast during them, since it was prohibited to fast on them. It is not permissible to delay making them up until the next Ramadan, because Aisha radiallahu anha made shawal the limit. If a person delayed it for a valid excuse, such as inability due to his sickness being continuous or traveling and the likes, and he was unable to make them up until Ramadan comes, then there is no sin on him due to the statement of the Most High, لا يكلف الله نفسا إلا وسعها, which means Allah does not burden a person beyond his scope. Thus he makes up the days he owes after the end of the present Ramadan. Whoever neglects and delays making them up without a valid excuse until Ramadan comes, then he fasts them after the present Ramadan, but he does not have to feed others due to what is apparent from the Most High statement, فَعِدَّتُمْ مِنْ أَيَامٍ أُخَرْ which means the same number should be made up from other days. And he must repent and seek forgiveness for this negligence. Some of the companions like Ibn Abbas and Abu Huraira radiallahu anhu gave the verdict, that he should feed a poor person for each day, along with making them up. Perhaps this is from their independent judgments and teaching manners to the negligent one, and making reparations for this shortcoming by obligating him to feed others as well. Ad-Daraqutni reported that Abu Huraira radiallahu anhu said regarding the one 
who neglected making up the missed days of Ramadan until another Ramadan reached him. يَسُومُ هَذَا مَا النَّاسِ وَيَسُومُ الَّذِي فَرَّتَ فِيهِ وَيُطْعِمُ لِكُلِّ يَوْمٍ مِسْكِينَ This one fasts with the people, then fasts that which he was negligent about and feeds a poor person for every missed day. Something similar was narrated from Ibn Abbas radiallahu anhuma. Following this fatwa deserves attention, even if just considering it a recommendation, because this is a kind of reparation for shortcomings by charity, and charity is recommended generally, and Allah knows best. Allahumma aslih a'malana, wa haqqq fika a'malana, waj'alna ala ta'atika, Gudwatana wa asalana. Allahum magfir sayyatina. Warfa darajatina. Wagfir lahum alana. Wali walidina. Wali jamil muslimin. O Allah, rectify our deeds and actualize our hopes. Place us in your obedience in our mornings and our afternoons. O Allah, forgive our evil deeds and raise our ranks and forgive us, our parents, and all the Muslims.